What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we got ourselves a team showcasing the brand new Pokemon, Walking Wake. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But like I said, we're using Walking Wake today. And Walking Wake, brand new Pokemon that is a water and dragon type that thrives in the sun. So really cool to see a water type that is strong in the sun. So going to be cool to showcase it. Hopefully we go up against some sort of sun team and we get to rock out this Pokemon in there. But we're going to get started here. Today's team preview, top of corner with that Pokemon, Walking Wake with Protosynthesis and the Life Orb as item. It's got Protect, it's got Hurricane, it's got Draco Meteor for big stab damage, and it also has Hydro Steam for big stab damage. If you guys do not know what Hydro Steam does, it's an 80 base special attack and move that does 80 base damage, but if it's in the sun, it does 120, which is absolutely amazing. It actually gets a boost from the sun, so again, like I said, this Pokemon thrives out in the sun. Second Pokemon on today's team is going to be Raichu. I absolutely love Raichu. Very solid at control and a very solid fake out user. This one has Lightning Rod and the Air Balloon as item and ability. With fake out, Encore, Nuzzle for Paralyzes, and Thunder, which will hit 100% of the time in the rain. Fluttermane is going to be our third Pokemon, and this Fluttermane is amazing. Protosynthesis, Focus Ash, Imprison Trick Room, one of the best ways to counter Trick Room, and then it has Shadow Ball and Dazzling for two stab moves. Fourth Pokemon is going to be my boy, my Paloops, Pelipper over here, which Rizzle and the Safety Goggles gonna really help this team out tremendously. It gives Raichu the rain so it can, Thunder can hit, it gives Walk and Wake the rain so it can actually use its Hurricane and get a boost from Hydro Stream, and on top of that, it has Weather Control. And the Safety Goggles as its item, Protect, Wide Guard, Tailwind for Speed Control, and Hurricane for its Lonesome Stab move. Golden Go is going to be our fifth Pokemon. Golden Go, everybody knows this Pokemon's beast. Give it the choice specs, it hits even harder. This one as good as gold as its ability. Power Gem, Thunderbolt, Make It Rain, and Shadow Ball for its moveset. Probably the best moveset you can have for any choice specs, Golden Go. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be my boy, Iron B. Iron Bundle over here with Quirk Drive and the Covert Cloak as item, so it can't be faked out. As Protect, it's got Electric Terrain, so we can actually take out Terrain. Say we go up against an NDD and Armor team, we can actually change Terrain like that. And then we got Freeze Dry and Hydro Pump for our other two moves. Guys, if you want to rent the seat for yourself, rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to grab some wins with the brand new Pokemon, Walking Wake. First match coming at you guys, we're going up against a tough one. We're going up against a Maridon team with Shen Pao, Toxic Pack, Umbreon, Golden Go, and the Dunsparce. Really cool battles you get and really cool teams you go up against in the casual ladder. So it's always fun to hop on here every now and then. But I got to see Walking Wake stats. I haven't really got a chance to check them fully out. And this Pokemon looks amazing. The special attack stats very high. Its speed stat is great as well. But on top of that, its typing is absolutely amazing. Cannot go wrong with this type. So who should we lead and how should we get after that? They do have that Maridon, which I'm kind of scared of. I'm not going to lie. I think Raichu could also be really good. I can use it as a fake out user. We can really get after the battle that way. So Raichu and Walking Wake would not be a bad lead for us. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Or I can go Pelipper try to get some speed control here. That's not bad. A little bit of Paloops action. I'm all about Paloops. I don't really think they have speed control, right? Do they have a Tailwind user? No. They do not, so I'm going to go Pelipper, I'm going to go Walking Wake here, set the rain, and then in the back end, I am going to bring my Fluttermane, gotta love Fluttermane, and then last but not least, Deli Deli Bird is not too bad. Lovely Deli Deli Bird, or do I go with the Choice Specs Golden Go for some big time damage? Options, options, options. I'm going to go in with my Choice Specs Golden Go, big time damage late in the game, I can use the Make It Rain to potentially win with a two for one shot. Could be great. Could definitely be great. But yo, Walking Wake is looking dope. It's looking dope. And it just gives, it adds more reason that uh, past forms are better than future forms. Because when Iron Leaves came out, Iron Leaves still looks cool. But again, it looks like the rest of them. It's just like pretty normal. It looks like the, the normal Pokemon just put like steel around it and cover it in a, make it a robot, right? Walking Wake looks like a totally new Pokemon. It looks sick. It looks sick. But they're going to end up leading the Maridon alongside with... The Dunsparce. Look at that little long thing. Hadron Engine's gonna come out here. Pop the terrain for futuristic stuff, but it's all good. It's all good. And now from here, I feel like Maridon's gonna outspeed, so... Oh, dude, he might just rip into me with a Thunder Move. I don't like that. I do not like that one bit. I'm just gonna go Terrasilize. Do I say screw it? Or do I Terrasilize you? Actually, I don't want to Terrasilize. We know this thing's Dragon-type, right? It's Dragon and Electric. You know what? I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna go for Tailwind. I'm gonna say screw. I'm gonna Terrasilize in a fire. 
and I'm just gonna go into a Draco Me and try to get rid of this Pokemon. I want this thing gone. <laughs> I want this thing out of here. Cause you know what? It might outspeed. I mean, it's probably outspeeding Pelper, but it might just go after it and take it out, right? And if I protect Walking Wake and he takes out my Pelper, it's pretty much just a waste of a turn, and that's just terrible. So I'm gonna Terrasilize so we don't get hit by a Dragon move. I'm gonna go. Oh, I outspeed, and I miss, and I miss, and I miss. Okay, now that's a bad turn. It's a bad turn from us. That's a real bad turn because now my Paloops is dead. Walking Wake out spent. Mm, soul is hurting. Soul is hurting. Soul is definitely hurting. That could have been a really good turn from us. Could have been a really good turn from us. But I guess not. I guess not. But you know what? We're going into my, my girl Fluttermane at this point. I could go into you. But now we're going to go into Fluttermane. That hurts right there. That hurts right there. Missing my Draco Meteor, but I kind of don't mind anymore. Because now I can just do this. I can go for a Hydro Stream and just do some damage onto the Dun Sparse. Dun Dun Sparse. Lovely little the Dun Sparse. But yeah, what a way to get this uh, video started. Lovely little Walk and Wake missing his first move. Be a nice big time crit on the Dun Sparse. Hydro Stream's gonna come out of here. Let's check out this move. Look at, look at sick. Taking out the Dun Sparse, no problem. Get it on at you. Walk and Wake getting some work done. So we'll see what uh, Marino wants to do here. He's gonna end up going for maybe another Electro Drift for the train. Yeah, Electro Drift's gonna come out of here. Or Fire type now. That's exactly why I changed. I try and deal with the damage, and it's still killing me. It is still just ripping into me. That's annoying, but I still feel like we're thriving in this battle. This match seems like a pretty easy one. It seems no problem, right? It seems like we got this one actually on lock. I, I'm not even gonna lie. We got the choice to move. I might choice the Shadow Ball, but I know it doesn't leave KOs that Pokemon right there. Unless they end up uh, Terrasalizing with it. So we'll see. We'll bring out my boy, Golden Go. And wow, I wish I would have dumped on that thing turn one. I had Walking Wake chilling there. Uh, from here, we're gonna go for the Gleam. Super effective on the both, and then ch -ch -ch -ch. I really want to choose to a Shadow Ball. Cause who's gonna be your last Pokemon? That's a real question. Who is your last Pokemon? I got a choice into a Shadow Ball. Actually, it could be Shen Pao. It could be Shen Pao. Looks like I'm ripping to make it rain. Looks like we're, we're ripping to make it rain here. So Gleam's gonna come out here. I'm gonna say, get on out of here, legendary Pokemon. And I think Make It Rain might be able to finish off this Umbreon. This could be this could be a good turn for us. Make It Rain coming out here. See you later, Umbreon. GG easy. They got one more Pokemon. It's game set match. They still have Terrasalization as well, but I really don't think that matters. But again, first match. Go into your boy. Showcase Walking Wake a tad bit. Missed my Draco Meter, but you guys know the second match. We're going to be hopping in there and just ripping with it. But they're going to end up going in the Golden Go. Uh, we can switch to Shadow Ball. And we got to keep popping Make It Rains. And that's exactly why I, I kind of want to go into Shadow Ball with Golden Go, but still, they end up not Thrasalizing, and we just dump on it one shot, no problem. So, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Easy first match. Let's hop through a second match and showcase Walking Wake a lot better. Second match coming at you guys, going up against a Cinderace team. This is why I love hopping on a casual ladder. You get some fun teams, and you go up against some very cool Pokemon. They also have Storm Drain Gaston. Gonna have to watch out for that when I bring in the Walking Wake. And then they have Gargonackle, Grimmsnarl, Dragapult, and Mimi Mimikyu. How should I play this one? Who should I lead? Pelper's not too bad. Walking Wake's not too bad here. But I feel like a Pokemon more so like Fluttermane is going to thrive out. Super effective onto a lot of these Pokemon. So I'm down to uh to lead the lovely little Fluttermane. So Fluttermane should come out here alongside with... Could go Deli Bird. Could go Deli Deli. Could definitely go Deli Bird. Um, I could also go in with a Pokemon like Raichu or even Pelipper. Hmm. Hmm. This player, I could get, get some speed control with Pelipper. So, you know, I am going to go with Pelipper here. I would rather get some speed control with Tailwinds, bring Walking Wake in the back end once the rain's set up, and then I could also bring in Deli Deli Bird. I like Deli Bird. He has Hydro Pump. He has Freeze Dry to take care of that gash on. Everything about this team. Screaming a victory. Let's grab it for you guys. 1 0 so far. Second match coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves our second and go back to back. But yeah, Walking Wake, I wish I would have landed that Draco Meteor in match number one. Would have showcased him a little bit better because I would have just dumped on that legendary Pokemon with it. And it would have been awesome. Would have been awesome. But we end up missing. And now we're hopping in this battle. So Gastron and Poltsky is going to come out here. Don't mind that one bit. And I feel like from here, I could just set up a Tailwind. And just straight up Gleam across the board, right? Get some Gleam damage going. And then just Tailwind. Seems pretty straightforward, right? Dragapult might Terrasalize here. It could also uh, be Focus Ash and just stay in the turn. It has options. It has options. And it's going to end up 
going the terrestrialization route. I was gonna shadow ball into it, but it's all good. It's all good. What typing are you gonna go into? Steel? A fairy typing, okay. A fairy type dragon. Love it. I love it. We ends up terrestrializing that thing. It's not that's not too bad. Shadow balls can come out of here and we're dead. I did not I did not think that thing out spent my flutter main. Oh 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 flutter main. Oh flutter main, I love you. I love you, Fluttermane. That was amazing. That was amazing. You were able to eat. Free focus sash for us. I'll take that all day. I'll take that all day. And an Earth Power. She's going to double down and take out my Fluttermane. Okay. I mean, I could deal with that. That was kind of a bad play on our end. But we got off Tailwind. I'll take that. So we get off Tailwind. Uh, from here, I got to go into the bird, right? Deli bird. Just free stride to Gastro. Save my wake for the back end. And then just start hurricaning down this uh this dragon pulse slot. Cause I think Pelper should be faster than than the uh, dragon pulse at this point, right? Are you faster? No, you're not. Dragon pulse still gonna outspeed, I think. I'm just gonna go for the freeze try, and I'm just gonna rip the tailwind. Oh, not tailwind, a hurricane. So Gastro protects, which is an amazing protect. It's a very solid protect. And we'll see what they want to end up going for here. Freeze try is gonna get blocked. And what are you going for, Polsky? You going for a meteor? I can definitely see you going for Meteor or another Shadow Ball. Thunder! Alright, Walking Wake. It's you against the world. <laughs> it is you against the world. We can't go for Water Moves, which kind of sucks. But we're going to have to clutch up with our boy. Hurricane's going to come out here and pick up the KO, which is big time. Um, I can double Hurricane right now. I still have Terra for Fire. Um, huh. What do I do here? Because Gastro is a problem. I cannot just start freely sending water moves until I get rid of it. So I might just double Hurricane this time. Walking Wake, come on down here. Ouch, man. That Dragon Pulse moveset doing me dirty. Doing me re real dirty. But I'm going to bring out the Wake. Bring out the new guy. And he's going to bring out Mims. So Mimikyu could potentially set up a Trick Room. Um, I'm still just going to actually let's terrestrialize you in the fire. The reason I want to is because I'm not dealing with a fairy, a fairy shot. And I'm going to hope that two Hurricanes can actually KO this Gastro. Or maybe even at least get Ducks, make it hit itself and waste a turn. But yeah, I can't deal with a fairy shot. But yo, Walking Wake's tail? Ooh, looking good. Ooh. Wait, show it again. Show it that tail. Let me see that tail. Come on. Go back to Walking Wake. Not Mimikyu. He's adorable, though. Love me some Mimikyu. Not you. Get on out of here. Not Paloops, even though Paloops is a dog. Not me. Where's... Go. Where's Walking Wake at? Not Mimikyu again. <laughs> Show Walking Wake. Nope. Wrong. This is un unreal. There's Paloops, but okay. You can see the tail from there. You can see the tail from there, but they just refuse to show Walking Wake. They just refuse. They just refuse to. <laughs> but we're going to have Tarras lives near. Walking Wake looking to clutch up. We're looking for big time clutches from Walking Wake. And we go straight fire. We go straight fire in the rain. Dangerous play, but we live dangerously over here. Hurricane's gonna fly from walking awake. How much damage are you doing? Not too much damage. Can we get ducks? Can we get ducks? Or maybe Paloops can actually pick up the KO here. Got Paloops. Bring us home. Paloops, give me ducks. No ducks. Playoff comes out here and we dodge that attack. And what else are you going for here? A recover. Okay. Yeah, shows obviously gonna protect this turn, right? Gastron's so annoying. I can't stand it. I can't stand it right now. I can't stand it with Storm Drain. So from here, I'm gonna double hurricane in the uh in the Mimikyu. I'm double hurricane in the Mimikyu. I can definitely see Gastron protecting here. Ah, this one hurts, man. We were so close to taking out the Gastron. And of course it's recovering this turn. That really did hurt. But look at my boy walking away. Woo! Looking real spicy. Looking real spicy. There's Mim Mims. And again, I do think Gastron protects you, right? Since we just doubled down into it, it recovered. It wants to probably get a little bit more HP back with leftovers. Could Earth Power me now, which is a problem. But there's the Protect. You make a nice, lovely read on that. Gastron's such a problem. It's such a problem. Because once this rain ends, we might be sitting in a tough spot. If we're going to Hurricane here, can we get some Ducks? We do drop uh, Disguise. Can we get some Ducks, maybe? A little bit of Confusion action. And we're popping a hurricane of our own. Can we get some ducks here? Nice damage. Give me ducks. No ducks. Shadow Claw comes out here. Gets a crit, of course. 
They're critting and I can't even get ducks. Uh... What is the play here? Tailwind's gone. I feel like we just protect you. And then we just hurricane and we look for the KO here. But I do want to drop it. I do want to drop a Draco Meteor. I do want to drop a Draco Meteor into Gastron. I really do. Because that will do the most damage that we possibly can. But I didn't want to drop it yet because of... I don't want to lose, lose my special attack just yet. So I'm going into you. That's fine. We just have to keep our walking week alive here. I'm going to pop a hurricane and get rid of Mimic so Get rid of the Min Mims. Get rid of the Min Mims. And I hope he throws out something that Pelipper can just rip into here. There's the Earth Power. Do not like it. Um, Gastron might even protect again. Which sucks. It absolutely sucks. The rain's gone now. So hurricanes are not flying freely. Let's see who they end up going into. I am terrified. Cinderace. Okay. I'm going after Gastro. We're going after Gastro. We're gonna hope it doesn't protect you. Gastro, do not protect. Just stay in here. Stay in here, kind Gastro. Just stay in here. Let me let me dump on you with this with this uh, Draco meter. Let me just absolutely rip into you with this Draco meter. Come on, Gastro. Do me a favor. Do me a solid here. You owe me. You owe me, Gastron. Owe me. Sucker Punch tries coming out here. It switches typing. That might KO me. No, we eat that. That's a big time eat up. Draco meter flying here. Can we KO? We do not KO. Can we land this hurricane though? Can we land this hurricane? We do. So we get rid of Gastro. Oh my. I don't know what to do. I do not know what to do. It is dark type now. And a sucker punch pretty much KOs me, right? Best play here would just be protect you and try to land another hurricane. That'd be best bet. That'd be best bet. Hope that he goes after walking wake here with Sucker Punch. No, wrong choice. Wrong choice! Wrong choice. Wow, that hurts. I can't believe he didn't go after walking wake there. That really hurts. That really hurts. Now it's gonna be GG's. That is gonna be GG's. What a second match. You know, Cinderace coming in and clutching that one up. But honestly, Gashon was MVP there. Gastrodon was MVP. We couldn't kill it, and I could not use my Hydro Seams. Could not use my Hydro Seams, but still, walking away, getting some work done. We got to showcase it a little bit more in match number three. But maybe just maybe we have a shot here. Maybe we get a crit. Maybe he, we can eat this. Oh, you go for a high jump kick. Wow. That was surprising. That was definitely surprising. But we end up losing this match. Let's hop into our third and final battle. Get walking wake out there. Hopefully not going up against a Storm Drain team. Final match coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves a winning record for today's video and showcase Walking Wake one more time in this third and final battle. Going up against Gengar, Slowpoke, and Slowbro. I feel like Slowpoke can do something with the Evo Light and kind of get some work done. And then they also have Scyther, Tauros, and Venomoth. So, weird combo going on here. Hopefully, we can just rip into it. I'm going to go Walking Wake here for turn number one. And then I'm also going to lead Pelper. Let's just go Pelper, Walking Wake, see if we can rip into these people. I'm with it all day. So Pelper, Walking Wake, Fluttermane in the back end, and then last but not least, we could just choice spec here. I just think that's a, that's an easy play. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down, and we're going to grab ourselves a winning record. We are going to grab ourselves a lovely winning record. But that last match came down to the wire. If I didn't protect my Walking Wake there, I had a shot at win that match. But dude, that gash on was a pain to deal with. I couldn't do anything up against it. Maybe I should have Draco Meteor it earlier just to get rid of it. But then at that point my special attack would have been dropped and I wouldn't really been able to do anything. That was, so that was my thought process there. They ended up going into slow poke alongside with Venomoth. Venomoth such a cool Pokemon. Especially shiny. That blue. Gorgeous. It's lovely. But we set the rain here. We do have Hydro Stream so I'm just going to rip into that thing with a Hydro Stream. And I'm just going to throw Tailwind up. Do I Tailwind up? I think we just double down to Venomoth. I think we just double down into Venomoth. How does stream gonna come out here? How much damage is gonna do? Not bad damage. Loving that damage. Loving that damage. Gonna lose some HP. Sleep powder should come out here. Oh, good thing we dodged that. Good thing we dodged that. Venomoth, get on out of here. Trying to sleep powder me. Get it on out of here. <laughs> I wonder what Slowpoke's doing. 
I'm a little confused on the slowpoke side of things here. Trick room ish? Yeah, that's what it, that's what it's doing. A little trick room booger. A little trick room booger right there. I knew I knew it had a little, few tricks up its sleeve, right? Rocking Evo light, being that guy. He's gonna end up throwing out his brother, Slow Bro. <laughs> and from here, I feel like I just rip into this thing with a Draco meter. I feel like we just start ripping into these, this uh, this left side. Say screw Slowpoke. That's what it'd be doing. It'd be setting up screw. Okay, I see this. I see this dude now. Oh, hold up. We're, we're not. We're not about to do that. We're not about to do that. Hold, hold up. Hold up. Whoa there, man. We're not about to do that. We are not about to do that. You have Barry? You do not. Okay, yeah, get on out of here. We're not about to do that in my lobby. We're not about to do that with Walking Wake on the field. Unreal. Unreal. Goes for the belly jump setup. We were able to KO through the light screen. Woo. Woo. Got real scary for a second. Got real scary for a second. But I feel like this guy's combo messed up when he missed his sleep powder. Definitely messed up when he missed his sleep powder. And now we're sitting in like just like a GG spot, right? I'm just going to hurricane this thing, and then I'm going to use my stronger hurricane over onto Slowbro. And this match is already canceled. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Walk and wake showcase for today's video. Two and one. Grab yourselves a winning record. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, a walking wake team to showcase on the ladder for you guys. Hopefully, I did it justice, got to showcase this Pokemon really well, and hopefully very, very soon, I'll get you guys an Iron Leaves team as well. But like I said, walking wake, definitely a very cool Pokemon. When the brand new season comes out, we'll definitely see more of them and more on how to play it. But this was just my first initial impressions of it, and I absolutely love this Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.